Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well. Welcome to December. It is, uh, it has gone by fast, hasn't it? This year 2020 been real interesting, a lot of challenges. Um, but, uh, hopefully we've all, uh, persevered through and, uh, possibly even came out better because of it. I know some haven't and, uh, my heart's out to you. Uh, but today we're going over the monthly dividend update, portfolio update. Uh, I'm combining my uh, ETF channel RV fund portfolio update along with the monthly dividend, regular monthly dividend update that I do. So if you're new here and you enjoy this content, please like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff down in the link, uh, pin comment down below and in the description. Uh, will be referral links uh, to my Amazon link, to my Teespring, to my M1 Finance referral link, all those things that you can use uh, to, to just leave a tip to this channel. You know, if you enjoy the content, uh, Amazon especially, uh, because if you use that Amazon link, it um, doesn't cost you any extra and they just send me a small commission on qualified purchases at no extra cost to you. So it'd be a great way, especially during this Christmas season, um to to send a little bit uh my way so um shameless plug <laughs> uh, so let's get started uh i'm gonna just dive right in and we're gonna go right into the etf fan etf panel etf channel rv fund earnings for the month of november and YouTube earnings was $132.16. Um, Amazon earnings was down big time. YouTube earnings was down big time too. And I think uh, that was a combination of the election and a combination of Thanksgiving. And uh, so, you know, that was down quite a bit. Amazon uh, earnings was uh, down a lot. Went from uh, $30.00 to down to three dollars no teespring earnings and no m1 finance referral earnings for a total uh, youtube related income of 135 dollars and 64 cents and one uh subscriber supporter uh sent me i, I i'm not this isn't going to be invested just yet this is just from december because i'm recording this on december 2nd but someone yesterday sent me a hundred dollars in in my paypal account i was i was blown away i was blown away you know who you are thank you so much i really appreciate that and that's going to definitely be put in to the m1 finance rv fund for sure so thank you thank you thank you so uh total income from youtube related stuff is 968 dollars and 44 cents we are two percent to our fifty thousand dollar goal the RV fundometer is right there, just inching along. So we'll look at the M1 Finance app and you'll see, well, if it's in red, it's been invested. Um, if it's in green, it hasn't hit yet. So it hasn't hit the, hit the bank account yet. So uh, for this month of November, I invested uh, this YouTube earnings of 171.13. And the Amazon earnings of 1169, and you'll see that reflected right there, 171.13, and a deposit of 1169. If we'll look at the holdings. Uh, if you haven't seen that video where I go over why I picked these holdings, I'll link that uh, above and below. But we'll go to the holdings, and we'll have QQQ. Got uh, almost one and three quarter shares there. We're up eight and a half percent on that. Uh, FDIS, which is the Fidelity Dis, uh, Consumer Discretionary ETF, I have two and a half shares of that, up 8% on that one. ARCG, which is the ARC Invest uh, Genomic Fund or ETF, have a little over one share on that. That one contributed 12.36%. And WCLD, that's the Wisdom Tree Cloud Computing ETF, and that one is up 11.39%. So all of you that uh, watch the videos, um, use the Amazon links, referral links, etc. This is all uh, thanks to you. So I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll just like to see this keep growing. So 
Where did we end up in our normal dividend? Well, we made, once again, huge changes. This picture right here is where we left off in uh, end of October. So end of October, um, we started, we had annual income of $2,915.47. And uh, I had call and put income here because I'm doing options trading of $627.21. Well, if we move over here to, I'll just tell you right now, BPYU is gone. AT&T is gone. Cisco is gone. SCHD is gone for now. And Altria Group is gone. All of that went, uh, all of that got sold and it went into my interactive brokers account where I am doing more options trading. But I am going to scale back into especially SCHD. I'm selling some cash secured puts to get back into it. I prof took profit on it and I'm getting back into it. So as the portfolio sits right now, our annual income is, all, is down to $1,659.55 as I rebuild the portfolio. But right now we have ETY. Let's see. Wait a second. QILD. Okay, one big change. QILD, I went from 353 shares down to 100 shares. And I put the residual of that into Jeppy. So Jeppy went from 36 shares up to 163.5. So we have 201 shares of ETY. I'll link that video on that. 163 shares of Jeppy. 100 shares of QYLD and 100 shares of UTF. Yes, I had that last last month. So that's it. That's all I got in the portfolio at the moment. The rest is in cash and I'm generating income from cash secured puts mainly. And what I'm doing, I, I can't really explain what I'm doing because options trading is is quite complex. But I will leave some resources down below uh, to uh, Tasty Works or Tasty Trade. They have major amounts of videos on options trading. And, you know, I would suggest if you're interested to spend a couple hundred hours. Yes, I said a couple hundred hours in learning how this is done because it's not black and white where I can say, okay, if you do this, this is going to happen because these strategies can work, um, on one stock one day and not work on that same stock the next day or even the next hour. So it's, it's, uh, what we're doing is called naked options or what I'm doing is called naked options. And, um, very difficult to explain. So please, um, watch those videos. And, um, if you have a lot of time on your hands, I'm blessed that I work from home and I can be in the market pretty much all day. So, um, if you have that luxury, um, you could make a decent income from it. So, but if you're, you know, you got a nine to five job, you know, it's probably not for you. Okay. So as far as the income goes, yes, we went from $2,915 in annual dividend income down to $1,659. But like I said, I will be building back and adding back SCHD hopefully this month. Um, and you look at uh, options income from October, we netted $627.21. And in November, we netted $1,524. Now I changed this because I used to have, I used to call it just called call and put income. But what I'm going to put here now is called realized option income. So you see how when you, when you make trades with options, you'll have profit and loss, or you'll, you'll 
sell a option for say a dollar but then you'll buy it back for 50 cents so that's a 50 percent profit and that's why i was doing some of these minuses here and it got confusing so i just decided i'm gonna just put what uh, the net gain was or the net income was for that month in this column so we went from um accumulated on this year i've made three thousand three hundred and seventy nine dollars and twenty cents in option income so that's it this was a pretty simple one um i'm just down down to these four uh etfs well that one actually says etf that should be a cef um you know the the average yield on the portfolio is 9.58 percent and then i'm generating a bunch of option income and this will go down um, as i add the etf schd back into the portfolio so i know that was kind of confusing i've probably gone <laughs> really right field with this um, but this will be restored and the annual income will be building up as i uh, reinvest some of this option income into uh, the etfs and into some of these holdings that i already currently have so that's it i just destroyed my monthly 2020 goal or my income goal for 2020 in a sense because i wanted twenty four hundred dollars a month in dividend income which i blew past but then i just destroyed it in the month of november but that's okay that's okay we're we're heading in the right direction so hope you enjoyed this um all you guys have a great week like share subscribe do all that good stuff leave me a comment down below if you have any questions i'll try to answer them i'll definitely put some uh, resources in for options trading down in the description below um, you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later thanks bye bye i am not a financial advisor the information contained in this video is for entertainment and informational purposes only. It is not intended to be investment advice. Please seek a licensed professional for any investment, tax, or legal advice. Thank you.